Facebook. What is up? Let's get lit. Let's get lit on a Thursday. So if you're scrolling, you need to stop that scroll. Pause right here because we're going to talk about awareness. I just went live on Periscope, so I am going to share that because that one is going to be a lot more in depth. So if you're joining me, hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me. I want to talk about awareness because I had an interview the other day with American Real. Hey, Roger Books. Thank you so much for that. And it brought up a memory I had. Um, he was kind of asking me, like, why I am the way that I am. So I'm going to get lit with you guys because this is an amazing topic. And the more that you do this and you focus on this, you will be successful whenever you do. So this is my favorite cup ever. It's a, it's a queen. And my awareness has to understand that I'm a queen all day, every day. All day, every day. So, hey, hey, hey. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're watching me on the replay, drop a crown. If you're watching it right now and you end up joining, say hello. Hello, hello, hello. Don't be rude, okay? Um, so, I want to talk about awareness. So, in this interview, he was asking me about myself and, like, why I am the way that I am. And I really do feel like I was, like, a flower child. Like, I really did enjoy, like, staring at the ceiling and looking at the stars as a kid. I really did. I loved playing outside. I loved everything about outside. Hey, Lexi. What's up? What's up, miss? Lots of love and light to you all day, every day. So... In him asking me, like, who I am, I remembered a story um, of when I was a little girl, and I was about seven or eight. I can't remember. I had to be, I was older than I was when I got these books. So I used to love Peter Cottontail, and I'd gotten a collection of books. And in this collection of books, there was, they were all different colors, and I used to love to sort them by color. But I really loved reading. I've always loved reading. And I was an older child. So at this point, I was like flipping through the books like, oh, yeah, I used to read these books. Like, you know, I'm probably like throwing things away because everybody that knows me knows like I don't hold on to anything. Like you can be like, oh, my God, this was from like third grade. I'm like, OK, here's the garbage. <laughs> like, I'm not holding on to nothing. I am not going to be on this earth for that long to be holding on to a picture I drew in third grade. Like, seriously, precious memories, love and light. Have a great day in the garbage. OK, you will be recycled today. <laughs> So I remember seeing what I had, what I had done, obviously younger than this age. I think I had to be like six maybe when I wrote this, five or six, because um, I knew how to write, right? Um, I wrote, I hate me. And this is when I believe that my awareness peaked because the perfect way to change your life is to think about what you're thinking about. And most of us poorly manage that. I'm not one to sit here. I haven't, you know, mastered it to the T, but when you master it, because I have mastered it to a really good extent and you keep mastering it, when you think about what you're thinking about, you're more effective in going where you want to go. Because your thoughts create your feelings and your feelings create your reality because you're, you're emitting right? You're emitting um, a vibration based off of your energy, right? So if you're always worrisome, that's a very low vibe. If you're always, you know, feeling really unworthy and just not fulfilled, you know, that's a really low vibe. So there's something in your thoughts that's keeping you in that space, right? And when, and <clears throat> excuse me, what you have to do and thinking about what you're thinking about is to take notes of it and to be aware of it. And this is why, and I'm going to say it again because I said it already on Periscope, people don't want to invest in themselves on a deep level. You know, people don't want to invest in just five minutes a day of meditation. That blows my mind. When people say they don't have time, and I, I wrote this the other day, because to say you don't have time, you're offending yourself. Because you're also saying, what I'm not going to do is give myself the time that I need to be the best that I can be. Thank you so much for the hearts. I don't know who that is, but hello. When you're willing to invest in yourself in monumental ways, ways that make you feel uncomfortable, ways that make you do things that you wouldn't typically do, but remember, what is birth and discomfort? Greatness. It's so simple. It's so simple. It's really, really simple. And I'm going to show you this picture because I'm a picture person. I love analogies and I love in my head. When I, when I talk about things, I actually see pictures. So 
don't judge me it's not my best drawing however it illustrates my point so you see this is a building right this is like the um what's the the empire state building right you see we have you know on these lower levels these are lower one through ten this is 11 through 20 and this is 21 through 100 right because i do feel once you get to a certain level of perception and awareness you're good you're good throughout life. Life is not, is just life, right? And we don't get out of here alive. None of us do. So however we go and the things we experience and the situations that come our way just become a part of what it is, right? And it's not a stressful place. It's not a worrisome place. It's not a fearful place. Like many of us are feeling right now, we feel very fearful. We feel very worried. Trust me, there's a lot of people out there moving and shaking, but most of us feel a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of um, doubt, a lot of, um, uh, you know, those lower levels, one through 10. And the reason why I see awareness being a building is because we all have access to that same elevator that goes up okay and we don't choose to go there you know we can have awareness and be so smart and aware of let's talk about this for two seconds because I don't like to spend time on it because people just fly off the hinge I don't believe in flying off the hinge calm and collect it right we're aware of the black experience right of what it means to be black but there's ways that you can flip that, you can turn that, and you can take that up to another level of an experience to where it doesn't feel so hurtful. Because it feels very hurtful, because I have felt this where, you know, we, maybe, you know, three or four years ago when certain things were happening, like my whole day was rocked. Like I, I felt, I have brothers and I've witnessed things. You know, people don't know where I've been. I've witnessed the, the hood life, the, the, all those different things of when, you know, bad things happen to good people or bad people, however it may be. So in your awareness and in whatever level you're on, I need you to be aware that you have to be super cognizant, super willing to think about what you're thinking about because that's what's keeping you stuck. If you sit there and you refresh Facebook, you refresh Instagram, you refresh Twitter, why are you not asking yourself, what am I thinking about so much? What am I looking for that I keep refreshing this? We're not asking ourselves questions that empower us, right? You're on Instagram hating your life, thinking everybody else has a perfect life. Nobody has a perfect life. And even if they do, you should be high-fiving them, be proud, and like they're in that same building as you. Maybe they're up on 11 through 20, figuring out how you can get to where they're at. And it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of commitment and it's going to take a lot of you doing the things you may not want to do, things that make you uncomfortable, things that, are, things that are out of your norm. But greatness is not born in doing that same thing over and over again the same way. It just doesn't work like that. And the way in which the world is going, whether we want to change with the world, the stars, the galaxy, I'm not talking about the world as in like America and countries and technology. I'm talking about the outer things like the universe there's things happening in the universe that we have no control of over um and this enlightening that's been taking place for the past like 60 years of law think talking about law of attraction and talking about you know bringing to your life what you want because too many of us we work too hard for that and if we can simply that's why i said let's get lit because it's a lit conversation, it's so simple. If we can simply tune, fine tune our thoughts down to thinking about and knowing and being aware of what we're thinking about, you can change your life. Because you see the source of where things are coming from. You see where maybe you have this underlying issue of unworthiness. So many of us do. I've felt very unworthy at times, very unloved. It took time for me to grow up and to really feel beautiful. I could look in the mirror, mirror and say, hey, yeah, you are beautiful and get you know, uh, some energy off of that. But when you really feel it inside, that's like a whole nother vibe. You know, and when you feel that inside your light, that's how your light shines and you, it's, it's like a fly, you're, gra you're bringing those things to you that need to be to you. And remind you, life is life, so there's always going to be distractions, there's always going to be things trying to throw you off your kilter, because that's just, that's just life. That is just life, it is what it is. So please ingest this, take this in, take it home, think about what you're thinking about. Don't overdo it. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't overthink it. Find the source. Identify what you think about most, right? And work on flipping it. Because the more you flip it and you say, I'm amazing, 
I am a queen. I am divinely made. I'm fearless. You know, everything good is coming to me. Good things happen to me. Like these are beliefs. If when you say, if you feel like you can't believe it, you really got to work on it. And I've been there. Like me saying life is easy. That's like, that was, that was a tough one to, to, to jump over because I didn't believe life was easy. I believe life was hard because that's what I'd be given. I had proof, right? And if you watch me, you watched me a minute ago, I talked about expanding beliefs and defining beliefs, right? Defining beliefs literally define who you are because they're factual and they've happened to you and you have proof. And you have other people, you could say it happened to them too, right? But there's also proof of overcoming. There's awful, also proof of being whoever the hell you want to be no matter what you've been through. There's proof of that everywhere if you're willing to look for it. So I need you to log off of social media just for two seconds and to really sit with yourself and think right now about what you're thinking about. Invest in guided meditation. I have one on my site. It's $5. I've given it away for free. There's some on YouTube. Invest in your mind. It's the best thing that you will ever have. And the more you can rein in what you're thinking about and thinking about what you're thinking about, right? Because we want to expand our awareness and who we are and who we think we are and tapping into who we really are, right? Moana said it, the Lion King said it, you've seen the Disney shows talking about it. Believe it because you are amazing. And until you know it, you're gonna keep experiencing situations that are calling you to go find it. Do you know what I mean? So, I love you so much. I have so many amazing things for you. If you're in the 607, please join me for the Soul on Purpose brunch. It's going to be amazing, and everything is always amazing with a little champagne. Um, if you're with me on Instagram, you can click the link in my bio. You can go to Queens Recognized Queens. I have coaching sessions at a very special price that will be ending this month because 2018, we have to kick it off like reaching for our full potential. And like I said earlier, potential and success are not the same thing. We need to know the difference. We really need to know and understand the difference. When you reach your potential, that's all from within. You will know. And even when you're going towards it, and me, I feel like I can always do better, but you will know when you're reaching your potential, right? Success is, a lot for a lot of us, very materialistic, right? We need to make that very intrinsic because when you feel good on the inside, you'll emulate that on the outside. Okay, so I need you to dive deep into who you are. Dive into working with me. I know you're scared. I know it's something you've never done. But this is my job, is to help you harness your potential. Help you really, really harness your potential and to let the baggage and the weight of life go because it's not meant to be carried. Okay, so I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, real recognizes real and cleans. Recognize cleans all day, every day. Have a great night, you guys.